Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. You'd have to go a long way to find a better venue for today's game than Kelly Short Stadium in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Let's wrap up all the tailgating, let's strap those bonnets up tight and get some people ready to put their face in the fan. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. State at Kelly Short Stadium where the atmosphere for this college football game is incredible. It's time for the coin toss now presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And there's the opening kick of the season. He's to the 20, tries to get around the corner, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Central Michigan's got a new coach at the helm here in this one, Herbie, and you got to wonder what kind of impact that's going to have. Players will always want to sell out for a new coach, so I expect an emotional game and a lot of big plays. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 32. the stop the 39 yard line they get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down he has such a quick first step once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant he already had the space he needed for the first down decent run here right side From their own 43-yard line. Second down. He's tackled at about the 45. Gain of two on the play. Third down. Six-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 43-yard line. That's good for three yards. That'll make it second and seven.
Gets it. He's in space. He steps out at about the 35. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. That makes it second and two. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he's level at the nine yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. On the ground and he won't get back to the line. No gain. That brings him second and goal. Here's the twelfth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Where's fifty two? Watch fifty two. Fifty two's the mic. it off as he's hit. Complete. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. He's scrambling. Finds a man. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was a 13-play, 72-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Central Michigan, yet set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Chippewa. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Nice 
run there. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. That makes it first and 10. From their own 41 yard line, it's first down. Makes a grab and steps out right away. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. with a carry. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down right around the 12-yard line. First down. From the 12-yard line. First down. He's on the run. And down he goes at the five. That's a D of seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Toss weep and he loses yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. Comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Nice play fake. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 38-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled at the 38. And he 
He's taken down at the 35. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. That's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action works so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. yard line second down defense in their short yardage package Splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Rebels arrive today ranked 10th in the land. The Rebels unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Ole Miss is on top 28-21. Upset special happens every year. Maybe it's one of those weekends. Central Michigan ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's tackled at the 32. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. Gets the ball. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That makes it fourth and four.
So at the end of the half, the Chippewas in front, 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. The problem at times with pitch outs is they're really slow to develop. And in this case, the defense had plenty of time to swarm to the ball carrier. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 19-yard line. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. Going deep. Doesn't get there. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tackle made at the 46. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Central Michigan is up a score. Here we go. Nice run to the left there. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 49. quickly and it's almost intercepted and that one probably should have been picked off yeah are you kidding me there's a blanket around that receiver somebody else had to be open run up the gut. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. 
They put everyone up on the line. Four-yard line. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty-four yard line. He scrambles. Goes right. Picked off. From their own 43-yard line. First down. He's tackled behind the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Good outside run there. McDonald gains around six yards on the run. Third down. From their own 47-yard line. Third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Strike to his receiver, no good. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He's taken down at the 23. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of three, three yards. yards. That'll that make it second and seven. seven. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Central Michigan up seven points. Screen intercepted. The 10. Touchdown Panthers. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 44-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Catch 
catches it. And down he goes around the 13-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. They'll bring him down around the five-yard line. Makes it out to about the five yard line. No game. That'll, That'll make it 31. So, with one quarter remaining, 14 apiece. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. Fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. find out who wants it more first and goal defense stacked in tight here and he's tackled just outside the goal line and this play is number eight on the drive And he hits the PAT. A nice eight play, 78 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one on one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. So our score 21 14. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. play action now he's on the move tackle made the 37 yard line from their own 37 yard line first down He's on the run, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. He looks pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. 
from the 48 yard line. It's first down. He makes his way to about the 38. That makes it first and 10. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 36-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Just under two to go in the game. With a quick throw. Got him again. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Central Michigan's going to take their first time out of the half. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Georgia State to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across midfield. Got an opening. And they bring him down at the 23. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ten gets out to around the six. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, fourth quarter, all tied up. What's it going to be? Under a minute left in the game. He stopped in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. Second and goal. And here we go. This kicker has a chance to be a hero. Yeah. 
Kicks away. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 24-21, Central Michigan. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.